Okay, so before this video gets started, I wanna say a few things. You clicked on this video because it's beach essentials or warm weather, waterfront type essentials, and we're gonna talk about that. That is in this video. However, there's a couple things I just wanna say first. So if you can just give me a moment, a few minutes, I'll be brief with this. This video was originally gonna be sponsored content, which you're familiar with. I do sponsored content all the time. And I try to make sure it fits with this channel. It goes with the vibe. It's something that I like. And everything I promote, I say in my own words. And that may sound like a minor detail, but it's very important, not just in this channel, but just in life in general, everything you're doing. It's your integrity. Whether you have a YouTube channel or not, whether you have a YouTube channel or any social media outlet or anything you're doing in general, just your job every day, this is gonna sound cliche, but know your worth, have some integrity. And that is super important if you have a YouTube channel specifically. I know some of you guys have your own channel. Bigger channels, watch my smaller channel and let this be a reminder to you. Know your worth and have some integrity. This was gonna be a sponsored video and that is not the case anymore because of the ask. They were asking me to say things that I was uncomfortable with. It didn't sound like something that I would say and I don't need to do anything phony or weird like that at all. And you don't have to either. If you pass on an opportunity, trust me, another one is right around the corner. So rather than just let that video run, I'm going to fill the spot of that sponsorship with four black owned clothing brands. I featured these t-shirts on my Instagram, but not on this channel yet. Well, one of them I've worn, you may have seen me wearing them, but I haven't discussed them. I'm gonna show them to you here real quick, and then we'll get into those beach essentials. First up is a clothing boutique called Sir and Madam. They are out of Chicago, and I love Chicago. I was born out there. That's why you always see me repping Chi-Town stuff. And I have yet to go to this physical location, but next time I'm in the city, whenever that is, who knows when that's gonna be, but I'm gonna go through there. I like the graphic in the front right here, just that throwback basketball vibe, and I'm gonna link all of these places down in the description for you. Next up, we got a t-shirt by Anwar Carrots, and if you're unfamiliar with the Carrots brand, you should definitely check it out. This is one of the cooler brands, I think, that's out there in general, and it's something that I wanna pick up more items from. If you like popping colors, good quality stuff, details, definitely check out the Carrots brand. I've been wearing this with my Air Max 90 Volts and the combination of the two is just wild. And then next up is the Good Company. This is a long sleeve pigment dyed t-shirt in like this mustard yellow color. And then it's got a small Good Co logo on the front left chest. Definitely a fan of these type of t-shirts. I'll be wearing this a lot in the fall because you know this is just a, a perfect vibe right there. Maroon mixed with that yellow. And then next up we got a Crenshaw tee from Marathon Clothing that is Nipsey Hussle's clothing brand that he started with his brother. And you know, the voice of Nipsey Hussle just in general, I listen. As soon as I hear him talking, whether it's an interview or on a record, I'm listening. The new track that Big Sean just dropped with um, the Nipsey Hustle feature on it, fire. It sucks that he's not here anymore because his music was just amazing. Good details on this shirt. It's a heavyweight white tee, which is so important with a white t-shirt. It has to be heavyweight so that's not see-through. Got some marathon details literally all throughout on the back and then uh, stitched in at the bottom of the shirt. I need to feature more black owned clothing brands on this channel. That's something I want to do talk the talk, not just tweet it out to you. I'm, I'm talking a lot because you are here for the Beach Essentials and we're gonna get into that video right now and just know that this was on my mind. I had to say it. thank you guys for listening. I hope that the rest of this video you enjoy it has nothing to do with what I just said, but I, I wanted to put this in here. So enjoy this video. This is Essentials for when you go to the beach, go to a pool, go to a lake. I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna pick this video back up. Well, it's the top five beach essentials, so let's pick it up at, at number four, right after where the sponsorship would have kicked off. So enjoy this one. Thank you guys for listening. Yo, what's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Today we are talking about more summer essentials. If you're like me, you've been outside a lot this summer, and thankfully, I live near the beach. I also live near a lake, and there's various pools that I go to as well. Hopefully you guys have been able to get near some form of water 
this summertime just to relax a little bit, do it safely. So in this video, we're talking about the five summer essentials that you can bring with you to the beach. We're not talking umbrellas and chairs and sunscreen. We're talking about accessories and clothing, stuff that'll have you looking good and feeling comfortable. So we're gonna go over each brand and each item thoroughly, so let's dive into it right now. Okay, next up, you're going to the beach. You absolutely need a pair of shorts. Now, my preference in shorts going to the beach is a little bit different than other people's. I've said this before, I'll wear gym shorts, I'll wear umbros, I'll wear whatever to the beach, but I know most people wear a bathing suit. That's pretty normal. So, of course, I've got some bathing suits in this video, and that's what's most essential. You know, you go in the water wearing a pair of gym shorts, you come out, it's gonna be a little bit of a drying time, if you know what I mean. But they look better than bathing suits. That's just, I, I like wearing my umbros at the beach, that's whatever. But for people that are more practical, and I'm changing my ways a little bit too, you gotta get a bathing suit. So when it comes to my preference in bathing suits, they have to have a pattern. The flashier, the better. The more bold, the better. The more busy, the better. I don't wanna wear a plain Jane bathing suit. If it's gonna be the only thing I'm wearing, it's got to have a little something to it. So this one is from PacSun. It's got a floral design and they're short. Just like all of the shorts I've been wearing recently, they have a shorter inseam. And then this pair is my little in-between. So these are Nike woven shorts. I've shown them to you a lot recently, not this exact pair, this is new. It's got that all over Nike graffiti swoosh going on. And these are, you know, regular casual shorts. However, they have a mesh inner lining, so this can go either way. This can be a regular pair of shorts that you wear in the streets or a bathing suit. Okay, and then next up, you gotta have a tank top, right? That's very important and essential at the beach, but what kind? Is it just a regular basic tank top? No, no, no. Ditch the tank top and get yourself a jersey, a champion throwback jersey at that. This is fresh out of the 90s. We got a Dennis Rodman Chicago Bulls jersey, and I can't believe how well this is held up for being a shirt from the 90s. I absolutely love these old champion jerseys. I didn't have many as a kid, so now I just want a bunch. However, they're really hard to find in good condition, especially a white one. Definitely get yourself a champion jersey to rock to the beach instead of just the basic tank top. Tank tops work, you know, they're fine. They'll keep you cooler than a t-shirt will, but jerseys, Spice it up a little bit. Okay, next up, you guys know I'm all about the hats. I've got over 100 different hats. And picking one to go to the beach is actually really simple. This is my go-to. I wear it pretty much every time I go to the beach. This is the Nike Club Futura hat. This cost, I think, $24, if not cheaper. Not breaking the bank with this one. There's a few important reasons why I like this. For one, it's a strap back. So. I'm not stuck with a fitted hat, and I can loosen it, tighten it, whatever it is, because you know, if you get a haircut, your hat fits a little bit looser. If you've got a lot of hair, and you haven't gotten a haircut in a while, it's gonna fit pretty tight. Also, because there's a strap, it makes it a little bit more breathable with that opening there, and the brim on this hat is probably the most curved out of any of the hats that I have. I like them to be flat, like this, however, this one's got a little bit of a curve, which is actually helpful with blocking out the sun because it kind of curves around your face a little bit more. But the fact that it's white doesn't attract as much sun as say this hat that I'm wearing now is. And also something like this, you can just stuff into your bag. A bag is another important accessory. I don't have one on this list, but you know I got a backpack every time I go to the beach and I'm stuffing this Nike Futura hat in there. I've got a few different options. Oh, there's one. I wanted to show you guys. It'll be in my next clothing haul video. It's actually pretty dope, but very basic. It's white, goes with everything. Gotta have one of these. Okay, and then last up, I'm gonna lose a few of you guys with this one. Everything I've shown you on this list is pretty bulletproof, right? You need a jersey at the beach or a tank top. Boom, bathing suit, need that. Hat, got it. Sunglasses, an absolute must. What am I missing here? Sandals. Now, I have a constant struggle with sandals. I'm never gonna wear the thong sandals that go in between your toes. Never, never, never. It's not me. You will never see me in a pair of those. I can comfortably say that. It's always gonna be slides or what I'm about to show you. And this pair of New Balance slides, I don't even know what they're called. I literally just saw them and bought them. You may have seen these, you may have not. 
Honestly, I went out on a limb and I grabbed them and I absolutely love them. If I'm the only one that likes these, that is okay. For one, they were $35, an impulse buy for sure. And you ever just see something and just, you're like, I don't care if anyone else likes this. I'm getting those. So they've got a really rugged sole on them. And why I think that's important for the beach is, you know, you're gonna drive to the beach. You're gonna walk to the actual sand, unless you're living a life of luxury where the beach is right in front of you. Up top is a different story. So they've got these two buckles, and then, what is this, neoprene or something? These are just crazy. Snow camo neoprene on top that you can Velcro shut. And then, just to lock yourself down, they've got these buckles on top of it. I don't know, man, they're different, and I was just drawn to them. You may not like them, it's all good. Everything else is certainly very essential on here. These are just essential to me. They also came with a New Balance mask, which is not just essential for the beach, it's essential everywhere. I actually really like the fit on this mask, so definitely let me know down in the comment section what you guys bring to the beach as far as clothing goes. Did I cover all the bases? Did I miss anything? Hit the comment section and make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more essential topics. If there's anything you want to see, definitely let me know. A lot of good stuff on the way. Thank you guys for tuning in. Stay safe out there. I'll catch you next time. Peace.